To make this cardigan, you're going to make one back and two fronts. And it starts at the bottom and works up. Slip stitch demo. Just make a loop. Pass the hook through the loop. Pick up the yarn. Pull it through. And then you can tighten up the loop. Chain stitch demo. Pick up the yarn, pull it through. Double crochet demo. Yarn around the hook. Insert the hook through the stitch. Pick up the yarn, pull it through. Pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops. Pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops. I'm going to make a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook and in the next stitch. And that is the three double crochet at the beginning of the row. Now I'm going to skip the next two stitches and I'm going to make a V stitch in the next stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip two make a v-stitch in the next stitch. And I'm going to repeat that across the row. So skip two, make a v-stitch in the next stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that across the row. I'm going to skip two, make a V-stitch. Okay, I worked all the way across the row, making V-stitches in every third stitch. Now I've reached the end of the row, and I have five stitches left. And I'm going to double crochet in the last three stitches. One, two, three. Okay, so I have three double crochet. I have V-stitches all the way across the row, and I have three double crochet at the end of the row. And now each row will be exactly the same until you get to the underarm section. Turn the work, double crochet in the next two stitches, one and two. Now I'm going to go to the chain one space of the next V-stitch and I'm going to make a V-stitch, which is double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. I'm going to repeat that across the row. In the chain one space, make a V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that all the way across the row. Okay, I worked all the way across the row at the end of the row, double crochet in the last three stitches, which are double crochet the previous row. So I've placed my section here, and now I'm going to show you how you reduce for here and here. And then the remainder for the yoke on the back will be exactly the same as we've been doing all along. Okay, to decrease for the underarms, you're going to slip stitch in the first six stitches. So. You want to get to this stitch right here, the very first stitch of the V-stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch in every stitch until I reach that stitch. So slip stitch in there. And now I want to do the first three double crochets. So chain two, double crochet in the chain one space, double crochet in the next double crochet of that first V-stitch. And then I'm just going to proceed across the row, making a V-stitch in each V-stitch. So I'm going to do that all the way across the row, but I'm going to leave these last six stitches not worked into. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll work across and I'll come and show you. Okay, there's where I slip stitched into the first six stitches, my first three double crochet, these stitches and all the stitches across the row. Now when I get here, I'm going to skip these six stitches. So in this last V-stitch, I'm going to make my three double crochet. One, 
one in the chain one space and one in the last double crochet. You can see that on each side I've decreased for the oak section on the back. And I'm going to double crochet in the first two stitches. And then I'm going to make a V-stitch in the next chain one space. And I'm also going to make a V-stitch in every chain one space across the row. So I'm going to go ahead and do that row. I'll come back and show you. Okay, I finished that little bit. And so now you will just continue to add more rows to finish the yoke. I worked 19 rows up to the underarm. And then I worked 10 rows for the back yoke. So now I'll show you how to do the front section. I'm going to make a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook and in the next stitch. And that is the three double crochet at the beginning of the row. Now I'm going to skip the next two stitches and I'm going to make a V-stitch in the next stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip two, make a V-stitch in the next stitch. So you're going to continue across the row. When you have five stitches left, you will skip two and double crochet in the last three stitches. Okay, I worked across the row. I have five stitches left, so I'm going to skip two and I'm going to double crochet in each of the remaining three stitches. Okay, so there you go. Now every row will be the same as the back. Double crochet in each of those stitches. Make a V stitch in each chain one space across the row. Double crochet in the last three stitches of the row. You do that until you get to the underarm and then you only do the six stitch decrease on one side and then you just continue to work the front yoke. And when you have all your pieces made this is what it will look like. And now you're going to join them on the sides and at the shoulders. So here I have them stacked and so now you're going to sew down the two sides with a yarn needle and the same yarn and you're also going to sew across the shoulders. So you're only going to sew across one-third for the shoulders. So it'll be one-third for the shoulders, one-third for the shoulder, and then leave this section one-third open for the neck. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've sewn the two side seams and the shoulder seam. Now I'm going to work the sleeves and I'm going to start by attaching my yarn at the underarm section. Okay, here's my underarm section, so I'm going to attach in any stitch at the underarm and lock it in. I'm going to make two extra chain stitches and then I'm going to double crochet in the same stitch and that will be my very first V-stitch. Okay, I worked all the way around the sleeve opening and now I'm going to slip stitch to join in the second stitch of that first chain three. Now I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to slip stitch into that first chain one space, chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in the same space. And now in each chain one space all the way around, I'm going to make a V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and work this sleeve, and it's worked the same as working the body, and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, I've gone ahead and worked a few rows of the sleeve. I'm going to continue to work as long as I want my sleeves, and then I'll come back and show you how to do the cuff. Okay, I've worked the number of rows that I want for the sleeves, and now to do the cuffs, I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to turn. And I'm going to double crochet in each of the double crochet stitches. I'm going to skip 
the chain one space and so I'll reduce the number of stitches in the cuff row by 14 because I'm going to skip the chain one space so double crochet in the double crochet skip the chain one space double crochet in the next double crochet I'm going to work all the way around okay worked all the way around making double crochets and there's my first chain two I'm just going to slip stitch to join and now I'm going to chain two and turn double crochet in each stitch around at the end of the row slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two and I'm going to repeat that for one more row and I've already done that on the other sleeve so there's three rows of double crochet okay I finished both sleeves I'm going to block it in a separate video because I often get questions about how to block a garment so I'm going to do that in a separate video and here's the finished sweater and I like to use barrettes as closures because then I don't have to make any buttons or buttonholes Thanks for watching. Bye for now.